It's Lucy and Jeff going for walks and talks, talk about banksters and Bitcoin and the apocalypse and stuff. It's Lucy and Jeff and tacos and kisses. Hey Lucy, you get it on that Ripple pump and dump? Oh, I don't touch Ripple. Ripple's garbage. I stick to Dogecoin. And I know you got that Bitcoin and Monero. And so if we got all that and some silver, then all I need is some tacos and I got the cushions. Holy cow, it's freezing cold out. Poor Lucy. She's freezing her patitas off. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, this uh, Wall Street Bats Reddit sort of thing continues to go on. And uh, there's been a whole bunch of things happening. But I just want to point out a few things about it. One is that this is what happens when you have, uh, basically you're getting close to hyperinflation or sort of the top of a bubble. But in this particular case, there's not going, <laughs> there's not going to be a time where this bubble kind of pops. They're gonna hyperinflate the dollar to zero. So you see millions of people all trading stocks now. Of course, they're locked in their houses. Uh, they're basically slaves. And so they start trading stocks. And, but one good thing about it is that you're, you're seeing so many people, I see it all over the place, and they all understand what I've been talking about now for the last 10 years, which no one understood until just recently, that the whole system's a scam, fiat currency's a scam, the central bank's a scam, governments are a scam, and, uh, and more <laughs> stuff like that. But people are really catching on, so it's very interesting. There's a whole bunch of interesting things all happening at once here. And, uh, you know, in another way, a lot of these people, you know, there's like millions of them, apparently, they've kind of created their own sort of decentralized hedge fund, which is really cool. Look at us. We are the hedge funds now. And it's so funny to see sort of the typical Wall Street people uh, freaking out about it. Like this guy, he was on some communist uh, NBC or something, uh, saying how he doesn't like it and how uh, it's terrible that all these people are just trading and making money because he's supposed to make money from them. They're not supposed to make money from him. And it's pretty amazing what kind of logic people can come up with. Maybe it's fun, fine, maybe it's a movement. But be prepared to lose 80 to 90% of it. And if it's still worth it, then have at it. But the biggest loss of capital here will be the human capital of young men who are sitting and staring at their phone and watching the price of Bitcoin or the price of AMC. And ask yourself, would you be better off taking that one, two, or three hours a day and working out, trying to form relationships with mentors, with, with, with romantic relationships, with people at work, getting great at something so you can be the person on the other side of the trade. The greatest loss in, in capital here is, is from young men who are more prone to gambling addiction, who don't understand uh, the markets. I think we are setting ourselves up similar to how there's a ton of young women out there who became very depressed by sitting in their rooms looking at Instagram. Self-cutting and self-harm skyrocket. I think you are going to see uh, uh, an explosion in young male depression, and I think a lot of it is going to be reverse engineered to apps that convince you you're part of a movement or physically addict you to your phone. Ask yourself, would your time staring at Robin Hood be, be better spent somewhere else? That is the real capital destruction that is taking place here. Now, of course, if uh, millions of people were buying whatever stocks he owns, he would love it. <laughs> but since they're buying stocks that maybe he's short in, and so he's losing money, he's trying to tell people, Oh, it's destroying your lives doing this. And you know, in some ways he's kind of right. In, in some ways, just the whole smartphone thing, you just see everyone nowadays, they just, they're completely just obsessed with it. So he's kind of right in general. But the reason he's saying it isn't because he cares about anyone. <laughs> it's because a lot of people are hurting his, uh, his bank account. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just amazing how People will say almost anything, like literally almost anything, 
if it goes like you know if something happens and they don't like it they'll, they'll say the, you know they'll, they'll put it down if it hurts their own interests and that's very much the case with that guy that uh saw lucy tick off there as one of those dogs around i haven't seen him yet today but uh, i got under that car pretty fast i told him you get under here better get your ankle guys on yeah, hopefully we won't see those dogs today. What was I talking about, Lucy? <laughs> about how, uh, yeah, because hardly anyone today has any principles. And that's actually done on purpose. It's actually been socially engineered. So you're born and you're, half your skin on your penis is chopped off and you're vaccinated with like a hundred different things. It's, it's seriously like a hundred things now. Uh, it's all part of the genocide, but then uh, you mostly, you, your parents probably give you an iPad or sit in front of the TV and you get your television indoctrination for like 12 hours a day with all the hyp hypnosis in it. And then you got to go for like 12 years in the government indoctrination camps where they won't teach you anything about principles or how to think. They'll teach you how to be a slave. And that's why we have mostly all slaves today. See, most people don't have any principles. Like people who have been following me for 10 years, if I ever said I'm pro-government on anything because it might uh, make me some money, like for example, I don't know, like just pick one, like I could go short uh, Ripple or something, which I actually <laughs> kind of am, and um, cheer on the SEC uh, because it'll make me money, right? But everyone knows for the last 10 years, I, I'm very principled. I'm an anarcho-capitalist, I'm a voluntarist, a libertarian, just like the meme, and uh, trying to grow the beard a bit more and the handlebar mustache. And I just believe in freedom and sort of like Jesus, do unto others as you want them to do unto you or the non-aggression principle. And when you believe that no one should aggress against others, then you cannot uh, believe government is legitimate. In fact, it's a criminal organization. So if I were to ever say something pro, like I want the government to do this or something, hopefully you would and everyone who's ever watched me would delete me instantaneously, inst instantaneously off of wherever I'm still left, which is hardly anywhere. Library, BitChute, DollarVigilante.tv, uh, and never listen to me again, right? But your average person has no principles whatsoever. So, and much like with the politics, as you probably noticed, if one side, the left side, uh, really doesn't like something the right side's doing, they will stand up against it and say they hate what they're doing. But if their people do it, they love it. <laughs> it like there's no, there's no principles involved and there's no thinking. <laughs> and that's really what like that guy's doing there is, is trying to get people to stop trading because it, it's losing them money. And so all of a sudden he's all worried about how they're, they're getting addicted to watching, you know, their, their Robin Hood trading all day. So, yeah, so lots going on with that. Uh, there's been a whole bunch of other ones too, other than GameStop and AMC and a few others like Nokia and, uh, Blackberry, which I didn't even know still existed. <laughs> but uh, they also did Dogecoin, which Lucy was really happy about. Yeah, I made like a thousand percent in one day and it's up again another 30% today. So thanks guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Supporting us Doge. And the latest one was Ripple. And uh, They actually said they're all gonna start buying on Monday at like 9 a.m. or something. And actually I had a few people who work at the Dollar Vigilante, but they don't, they're not really like investors. They're like, you know, they do other jobs. Some do videos, some, you know, accounting and stuff like that. But we're all in a chat group and a couple of them said they're buying tons of Ripple because they're all gonna boost it tomorrow, on Monday at 9 a.m. And I actually told them, I said, uh, I'd be selling it uh, at 8.59 a.m. And they're like, why? I'm like, this is what's called like a pump and dump. <laughs> and it's also 